Hey, and thanks so much for checking out our Bijou template. We're so excited about it. Um, and it's perfect for online shops. A quick note before we dive in on how to integrate it into Squarespace. If you already have a Shopify, you do not have to do all of the product creation stuff that we're going through, um, but we're just covering everything from A to Z. So today we're going to be showing you all about how to integrate Shopify and Squarespace and we're going to be doing that using the Shopify buy button. So although the Styled Square doesn't offer Shopify templates, we do offer Squarespace templates that you can go ahead and integrate Shopify with, which is such a great option. This is great if you want the beautiful design and all of the cool content creation options that Squarespace offers, but you are heavy on selling products, you are a product-based store, and you wanna have all of the capabilities of Shopify and the user experience of Shopify, especially when dealing with shipping, adding inventory, keeping track of orders, everything like that. What you need in order to do this is you will need a Shopify subscription, Shopify Lite, which is $9.99, and a Squarespace subscription. You don't need a Squarespace Commerce subscription. So with the normal business, um, Squarespace and the Shopify Lite, it actually ends up being the same price as a Shopify subscription for actually selling products which is really great. There are a couple different ways to utilize the buy button. One is by product and one is by collection. By collection is a lot faster and a lot easier. By product is a lot slower and a little bit more tedious, but we're gonna go over both just in case. So here is how you use the buy button with collection. If you already have a collection within Shopify, it makes this so much easier. You click collection buy button, click on the collection you want to insert into Squarespace, and then voila, here it is. So um, you can change a couple of different of the options. You can have the person view the product, buy now, um, add to cart, however you want to change the button. You can also change a lot of the different options like the colors, the typography, and everything like that. Right now it's pulling something I did later in this video and I did that within the part where we talk about how to integrate individual products. Um, so it saves all that, which is amazing. So that's why it's pulling typography that's already matching what we have going on on our um, Squarespace site. But later in the video, I'll cover how to do all of that. Um, so there's a lot of different options, as you can see, but how it looks in the Shopify page is how it will look plugged into your Squarespace page, which is amazing. So now you can see those options, and um, here I'm just playing around with how to utilize it and what it will look like when the user actually clicks on it, which is always good to see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click next. and then the code populates. Copy code, go over to your Squarespace site. I have an earrings page made. Um, and what you would do is, you can see this from later in the video, I'll actually show how I did these two. Those were the individual products and some different options with the individual products. But you would just click the little arrow, you would search for the code block at the top. Once you find it, click on it, and then just go ahead and paste in the code apply, and then just click done and save. Once you're out of preview mode, um, you'll see how it looks like on the page and voila, that's it. So this next part, I'm gonna be talking about how to do it if you don't have products yet in Shopify and if you're gonna to choose to do the individual product method. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to create your products in Shopify. So like you would with a normal Shopify website, you go ahead and do the description, the price, the variance, um, the inventory, all of the photos, all of the collections, everything like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and create the button, the buy button that we're gonna be putting into Squarespace. Following what's going along with the screen, you are going to select the product you want that buy button to apply to. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna customize the actual button. So you can customize what it looks like, how big it is, how small it is, the colors, the shape, and everything like that.
After you're finished, you're gonna go ahead and click next. Once you click next, copy code. Now we're in Squarespace, you're going to select the code block. So what you're going to do is click the little arrow thing, search code, click code, and then just go ahead and copy and paste in that code. And now you'll see the button populated. One of two ways that you can do this, you can add the product into Shopify with all the information and then it will populate once you paste in the code, or you can do that in Squarespace and then just the button will populate once you do the code. Totally up to you. I would recommend actually doing all of the information in Shopify and then just pasting in the code so that everything populates easily and you're not doing double the work. So here's how it looks with the products information already inserted. As you can see, I put the photos and all of the information in here. Now I'm gonna to go to the buy button again and you'll see that it's already saved all of our settings. So we just have to create the buy button for that product and click select. And then when we do it, um, you'll see that the cart is already done, but that's the basic. So if you go to the classic, you have the one photo, full view has the multiple photos and takes up more space. So it's totally up to you how you wanna do it and um, how you want everything to look. I'm gonna go ahead and change all of this so that it matches the branding on the Squarespace template. Um, and you can go ahead and find that by going into the back of the Squarespace template and um, clicking into the editable version of Squarespace, going to home, clicking design, and then going into fonts, and then you'll see all of the fonts that you use. So Squarespace does have a lot more fonts than um, Shopify does, so I would recommend just going in and picking something similar if they don't have the exact fonts. So I'm gonna go ahead and look through all of these and find the one that best matches the others so that it's kind of indistinguishable and just going along with the same vibe. Now that I found the fonts, I'm gonna go ahead and change the color so that it's black and not gray. Um, again, Shopify will save this, so you won't have to do that every time. this every time. It'll save it for all future products that you wanna use the buy button for. So that's the good part, you don't have to repeat it um, a million times. So once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and um, click next. Once you click next, copy code again, back into the back end, and then when you put in the code here, you're, you'll see that it's gonna populate all of the product so that you don't have to do double the work, that it's already all done in there. Um, again, if you did wanna do all of the product stuff within Squarespace, you do have that option, and then just the buy button in Shopify. Let's say you wanted two products side by side, all you would do is go ahead and put in the code again, and then what you would do is you would move it, drag the little box um, that populates after you save um, next to the little box that populates from the other code. So here you can see them stacked and in the different views. And then when we go back into editing, um, you will see what it looks like side by side just by dragging like that and then clicking save and then you can see what it looks like. And here is both desktop and mobile view. Yeah.
And if you do like that side-by-side -side option, I would recommend doing the buy button for the collections instead of the products like we did at the beginning of this video. It will save you a lot of time. So now I'm gonna hand it over to Sarah and she's gonna walk us through how to make sure this cart button appears on every page. So now that you've added your buy buttons to your shop page, what we're going to do is we are going to add this cart symbol here, this little tab, on every page of your website. This does take a little bit of coding, but um, it's just a couple really simple steps and we're gonna walk you through how to do that. So you'll notice at the moment that if you navigate away from a page with a buy button, you'll notice that the cart disappears. And we don't want that. We want the cart to show up throughout the website. So you're going to navigate to your Shopify account and you're going to create a buy button. It doesn't matter which product you choose. Um, we're going to want to choose the, a basic layout style. And here I want you to design the button with your brand colors and with just however you want it to appear on your website. So if I go back to the page, let's just say you wanted this cart uh, the little cart tab to be blue to match your brand, then you're gonna want to make those changes here and update the, the button styles in Shopify. Once your button is perfect, it's ready to go, you're going to click next and you're going to copy the code. Now return to your Squarespace site and click edit and scroll all the way down to the footer area. You're gonna click edit footer and you're going to add a code block element. So type in code and select a code block and here you're going to paste the code provided by Shopify. Save that. So now we can see that we have an add to cart button in our footer, which is not ideal. However, if we navigate to any other page on the website, we can still see the add to cart symbol. So. The reason for that is that the footer is universal. So anything we apply to the footer will show up on every page. Now, what we're going to do is navigate to design, custom CSS, and you're going to copy and paste the code snippet in the description below. Now, we also have to use um, a Chrome extension. It's called the Squarespace Collection and Block Identifier. We will um, tag that below so that you can go download that extension. But once you have installed the extension, simply click on the B and you will see uh, these blocks that have the, the block ideas of all the elements on your website. Now we wanna select the block ID with the button. So in this case, it's right here. So try to add um, your code block for the embedded button somewhere where you'll easily be able to grab that block ID. So. If you click on the block ID, it will be copied to your clipboard. And then what I want you to do is just grab 
this um, outdated block ID and command V paste the updated block ID. So I'm just gonna turn off the block identifier. And here we can see that our Shopify button is now gone. So we're going to save that. And that's it, we're all done. The last step here um, would be removing the cart, the Squarespace cart. So we are going to edit, edit site header, go to elements, and we are going to switch this toggle off. So cart here, turn that off, and that will remove our cart. Save that, and you're all done. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you decide to buy our Bijou template. Um, I'm gonna throw in a little video here just showcasing the beautifulness of, beautifulness of it, if that's a word. <laughs> and um, feel free to email us with any questions at all.